it's not not as sweet, so it's definitely balanced. Did you get out and be tourist a little bit? Yes, definitely. I would not like take it. Look like happy, Greg. Right? I'm a merger <laughs> specialist. I see <laughs> merger like, like, my job. <laughs> 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 Um, primarily we're about saving lives. We're not about, um, you know, making Oxfam the most powerful nonprofit in the world. We're not about, you know, backing the UN's goals because the UN says it's important. Like I said, we're simply there to save lives. And um, if there's a need in the world, we'll be there. Right now we're in about 120 countries around the world um, doing everything from water and sanitation projects to farming and agriculture, fair trade, uh, uh, to uh, gender rights, um, and we pretty much, if, if there's a need, we'll be invested in it. In the corner over there, okay. when there's major things going on uh, like C-SPAN and when they're voting for uh, bills in the Senate, we'll be in here watching the TV. Um, <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's the payoff. <laughs> We're seeing how our work is paid off. Uh, Welcome to Boston, welcome to Bright Lights Big City, welcome to Liberty Mutual Insurance Company. You are in our home office, our executive office here. Um, I believe Helen may get into this a little bit, you'll hear that we are a worldwide operation at this particular point. We are a Fortune 100 company. Some of you will be sticking around tomorrow for site tours here. You'll hear more about our company, more about our operation. And I know actually we're speaking to a number of, your stu of you students already. Uh, Yuji will be joining us for an externship in uh, August, I guess. She'll be coming back here for, for an externship at this point. So we very much look forward to the next couple of days that we have with you. So I do hope the sun stays shining for you. Uh, but as I will just reiterate what uh, Charlie said, make the most of this time. It's an opportunity for you to learn. Think of this as your research project for the next phase of your life. Uh, uh, but have a little fun while you're here too. And insurance really has, the, we do not deserve the reputation that we have. I hope you'll find that out. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Basically, this is just um, an example if you're moving to Boston. Boston really utilizes a lot of staffing firms for most of their employment needs. Um, if you go to major websites, you'll find that for the most part, staffing firms are posting jobs for companies around Boston. Um, some major ones are obviously K-Force. Um, K-Force has been around for about a little over 40 years. Um, we have 28, um, I'm sorry, not 40 years, 20 years, and we have 48 offices across the U.S. So. so now let's get a little bit into the fun stuff here, the culture of Boston. Why would you want to live here? Um, you know, there's definitely a lot of things to do here. We're right on the water, which is, you know, a major plus. Concerts, cannolis, you guys know what cannolis are? <laughs> Nathaniel Hall, that's pretty much a block of just all bars. Sporting events, Red Sox, Patriots. <laughs> fun city. Very centralized, lots of public transportation, um, you know, so you can get around so you don't need a car and, you know, young crowd, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. You say, if you stay on for a year, um, I'll pay you another year's salary. So, yeah. It's called a retention bonus. Yeah. So what you do is you, you, as a condition to closing, so the legal document will say, <coughs> as a condition to closing of the buyer, Bull, Larry, and Curly, must each sign an employment agreement, pursuant to which they will stay on board for, you can't force them to stay on board, because I forget the amendment, but slavery's been abolished, right? So you can't <laughs> force people to stay on board. But what you can do is say, if you stay for a year, you'll get paid a bonus. It's a retention bonus.
So today we're just going to present on four major points that we thought were key between the merger of Beacon Hill Financial Services and Boston Harbor Financial Services. And those are the financial accounting, information technology, human resources, and then the corporate culture around both companies and then the merger of them. And I will talk first things that we would do is due diligence preparation. And that's going to be a theme that you'll see in terms of due diligence. And in terms of what we would do in the information technology sector, we want to make sure that we pinpoint the failures in Beacon Hill Financial Institute. Often, many merging companies today fail because their managers fail to recognize the importance of human relations in the merging firms. Therefore, we believe that it is essential to have an effective communication. Because overall, that is going to be the strength of the company, the core of the company, and then when you have happy employees, they go out and they make money and they make business. For them. Um, it's important to note, I think, that um, corporate culture is something that exists within all of the three previous um, parts of, of the company. It's within human resources, within information technology, and within financial accounting.